Hello everybody, welcome to the next in the series of beginners MBS screencasts. Today I'd like to show you check-in rules and quick fixes. So we'll look at ways to check the code for errors or problems and how to provide quick fixes so that users of your domain specific language will be able to apply these quick fixes quickly to the code. Now what I have in mind, look at this. An unless statement. I created an unless statement that allows you to say unless a condition, which might be whatever. Uh, well, and here's a list of statements that I want to invoke. So it's kind of reversed if, if you like. Now, however, I added this functionality. I added support for. Well, I added I added a warning here that will tell you, hey, this is not. This is not correct. Oh, there's a problem. There's a warning. So here, if you notice, the, the content of the unless statement is marked in yellow, indicating that there is a warning on that line. And the warning is empty statement block. So it says this block is empty. And so probably the unless makes no sense. And probably you either want to fill in some, some, some content there, or you want to get rid of that unless statement altogether. And there is a quick fix available on Alt-Enter. Alt Remove empty analyst block. If you select that one, just the analyst block is gone. So this is the stuff that we are going to implement now. So now we travel back in time. Now we don't have unless with these uh, checks implemented yet. And we have to do that. So going to the language that defines unless, in the type system, I create a new non-type system rule. That's the one. That's the rule that will check your ASD for problems, warnings, uh, whatever you need. So we should give it a name first. Let's call it empty unless block. It should be a applicable for a concept. Now the concept is unless statement. We we'll, we we'll give it a name unless statement. That's a good enough. That's good enough. And now the check in that will do. So we go well if unless statement dot body statement. is empty. So if there are no statements in the body of the unless statement, then we'll issue a warning. So we go warning. Well, here's the text for the user. And now the note that should be highlighted as being problematic in our case. Well, it is the, the body of the unless statement. So we can go unless statement body. Well, that's it. Now back to the sample. Now I'll try to use unless. And voila, the body is highlighted in yellow, and it says the body of the analyst statement is empty. But no qu quick fix. Alt Enter does nothing, there's no light bulb, so we have to create a quick fix. So again, type system, new quick fix. Um, we should give it a name. Remove empty unless statement. Arguments. Well, it needs an argument. It needs to know about the unless statement that we want to remove. So yes, we need an argument. So the argument will be node node for an unless statement. Um, let's give it a name, node. Well, a text to the user
remove the empty analyst block. Well, and here the code that will do the removal, which in this case is pretty straightforward since we have already the node. So this is the one, and we just delete it from the tree. So it will disappear from the AST, so it will no longer be in the code. The last step we have to do before we are done, we have to associate the two. We have to associate the check-in rule with a quick fix. So I go to the check-in rule, open the inspector for the warning. So ha here at the line where I issue the warning. So I see down here there are a couple options I can do. So what we want to do, intention to, qu to, to, to fix a warning, this one. So now we have to pick the one which is remove empty unless statement, the first choice. And it needs arguments. So it needs to specify node, which we will provide. And the node is our unless statement that we define here above. You know, so this is the one that we refer to in in here. And that's it. I'll rebuild. back to code unless is well if I type in something no warning at all if I remove that line I get a warning telling me that this is empty and now alt enter offers me the option to remove the empty unless block which I'll do and we're done okay that's all for today it was quick and handy see you next time goodbye